that you can learn for the introduction is the grapevine, which you can do instead of the side step if you want to look a little more fancy. Once again, I'm going to demonstrate the counts facing the camera, but you'll be looking at a mirror image of what you need to do. So when I'm done, I will turn around and you can watch me from behind and that's the part you will want to practice to. So the grapevine is um, got some more twists and turns in it. So you're going to start by stepping out with your right foot, cross behind with your left, step back to the side with your right foot, then cross in front with your left. And you'll do that twice to make a full eight counts, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me do that again. Make sure I can keep my feet in the camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to do that so you can watch me from behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see I got off the camera a little bit. Let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to the right. Now, when you get to the left, your left foot will be in front. You're just going to swing it back one. So you'll have eight, one. Just like the side step, except you're swinging your foot instead of just going back and forth with it. And the way that looks going back, one, two, backwards with your right foot, three, step with your left, four, come in front with your right foot, step to the side with your left, five, back with your right, six, step again to the left, and count eight, your right foot's going to be forward. When we were actually doing this in the dance, we go straight from either the side step or the grapevine into wrapping the pool or weaving the pool. And depending on whether you're doing the female role or the male role, when we come back, you have to change position to get ready to go into the wrap or weave, but for now I don't want you to worry about that. Right now I just want you to learn the basic grapevine step and then you can make the alterations later when you're comfortable with the step. So I'm going to demonstrate the whole thing um, from um, you watching the back view. And again, I apologize if I don't keep my feet in the camera. It's a little bit hard to do this without a producer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the basic grapevine step. Again, it's a lot more fun and very pretty when it's done to the music, especially with the ladies if they have their skirts on. You can swish your skirts a little bit. I really hope that the lessons are helpful, that it gives you a head start, and when we get our practices, uh, the practices should be shown on our Shire website from year to year. They usually take place on Saturdays and Sundays in April, leading up to the Maypole Dance, which is the first Sunday in May at Fort Hunter in Harrisburg.